close your eyes. Watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, watch it all the way out. And watch your mind as you're watching the breath. In other words, if your mind wanders away, bring it back. Wanders away a second time, third time, just bring it back a second time, a third time. Keep it up. Try to stay with the breath as much as you can. Be very sensitive to what you're doing right now. This is one of the basic principles of the Buddha's teachings. You don't learn much by looking at other people's actions. You learn more by looking at your own actions. As the Buddha said, that's how we find purity. Today we're commemorating the passing away of John Fuang, my teacher, for, for many years. I remember very early on during my time staying with him, I began to notice he had certain psychic powers I had never expected people could actually have. And I was getting really interested in those. Perhaps one night he realized I was getting a little bit distracted from the real business of the meditation. So I said to him, and what this practice is all about is about purifying the mind. Everything else is just games. So how do you purify your mind? Well, you look at your actions. When you do something, ask yourself, what's the intention? If the intention is going to cause any harm to anybody, you don't do it. If you don't anticipate any harm, you go ahead and do it. While you're doing it, you check to make sure that your action actually does not cause harm. If it is causing harm, you stop. If it's not, you can continue. Now when it's done, you look at the long-term results. If you notice that it actually did cause harm in spite of your intentions, well, you've learned something. You've cleaned up your mind a little bit. You've cleaned up your understanding of how skillful and unskillful actions work and what really is skillful and what really is not. And bit by bit by bit this way, that's how you learn. You spend all your time looking at other people, what they do, and you can say this person didn't do anything good and that person did something wrong or whatever. You're not really sure. What, is the problem really with them or is the problem really with you? And we're cleaning, trying to clean up other people's acts, you don't get very far. You have to clean up your own act first. So that's how we find purity in life, is by looking at our actions, and particularly looking inside the mind, what its plans are. Because the mind just doesn't sit and receive information outside from outside. It's all out there planning. It's proactive. It wants to shape the world. So look at how you're shaping your world. If you do it with skill, then you create happiness for yourself and for happiness for people around you. So look carefully at your mind, and this is one of the reasons why we watch the breath as part of our meditation, because the breath is very close to the mind. And if I can't say with something this close, how is it going to stay with other things? But when it does move around, you notice. This way you get a better, better look at what the mind's real intentions are, and get a better idea of how you can clean them up. And it's this way. This is how we really commemorate our memory of the teachers who've taught us these things, and it's by putting them into practice. They didn't say these things just to have them written in books and then put up on the shelf. They taught these things because they had found that this is how you find happiness, and they wanted other people to find happiness too. So to carry on with their good intentions, we put their teachings into practice. That way we don't remember them just every now and then. Remember them every day, all the time, 24-7, where they're needed. It's how we show respect to them and how we show respect to ourselves. So think of how you're purifying your mind as you go through the day. When you catch a mistake, don't get upset. Just realize here's a chance to learn. Here's a chance to clean up some misunderstanding you've had before. And the way the mind really does become pure, your heart becomes pure. And that's the purpose of all the teachings.